Hello and welcome to Southern Marion's Week in Review Edition for Friday, March 3rd. SOMDY is a partnership between the Southern Marion News and the Forge Career and Technology Center's TVO production program. I'm Jalen. And I'm Caleb. And here's what we have for you this week. Despite decades of efforts, the Chesapeake Bay Foundation gave the overall health of the Chesapeake Bay a D plus in its recently released 2022 State of the Bay report. In fact, the needle has hardly moved since the Chesapeake Bay Foundation began issuing the annual report in 1998. The original report gave the Bay a score of 27 out of 100. Today, that score has only improved to 32 out of 100. Today, we remember Agnes Kane Callum, who is a genealogist and researcher known for her work on Maryland's African American history. Callum's daughter, Martina Callum, who is a historic Sauterly Board member, distinctly remembers how driven and always on the go her mother was throughout her life, in which she stated how it wasn't so much watching her accomplish things, she was always doing something different. She always had an activity going on, something to benefit the community, and whatever she did, she put all, her all in and some of yours to get everything going. Parents and students gather at G.C. Parks Elementary in India Head on Tuesday for a special event celebrating Black History. The school came together to host Black History Night, a, pro a program which included arts and crafts, a student-led Blacks and Wax exhibit, and more. Rachel Hall, art teacher at the school, told Southern Maryland News the event was born out of an idea to celebrate Black History at the school. Federal funding for three projects, an airport lease extension, roadway paving, and an opioid settlement were some of the topics at the St. Mary's Commissioner's meeting. The Chief Financial Officer, Janet Coodmore, and Director of Public Works and Transportation, James Gotch, asked for federal funding request letter for a total of $7,790,530 for three capital improvement projects, which was $3 million for the new YMCA, 1.8 million for the Tulagi Palace extension or place extension and 3 million for renovations to the health department's headquarters in Leonardtown. Now turning to sports. Braves win defensive battle and playoff opener. When the Choctaw High School girls basketball team returned to Huntington Town High School last Friday evening, February 24th for its 3A South Region playoff opener, exactly one week after the Braves had been upended by the Hurricanes for the second time this season. The visitors were simply hoping the third time would be their charm. The Thomas Stone boys basketball team took over La Plata with their 61-57 victory in the 2A semifinal clash on Tuesday night. La Plata got off on a quick start to each half, but the Thomas Stone boys responded with a stellar fourth quarter, which secured their 61-57 victory. The Thomas Stone boys basketball coach, Dale Lambert, said, We knew the game was going to be closer this time than the last time we faced them. That is all we have for you on this Friday's March 3rd edition of SOMD Wire. This news brief has been provided by the Southern Maryland News. For more detail, visit SOMDnews.com. As always, I'm Jalen. And I'm Caleb. Signing, signing off. off.